Okay, for this video that we're going to do right now, this lesson actually, we're going to take a photo and we're going to um, add the mosaic or, or glass um, mosaic look to the photo. So the photo is first going to start off with just um, your basic, basic photo and you're going to... So you have the basic photo here. So you should start off with just having the file, um, new, and you can start off with a custom 11 by 14 right here, inches. And then you can just open up a picture that you have, bring the picture in. The picture is going to come up on its own in its own tab here at the top. You're going to... Um, Highlight the whole picture by using Command A if you're on a Mac. And I believe if you're on like a PC or a Chromebook, you should um, Control A. And that's how you're going to get the whole picture selected. Or you can go File, and there should be a Select All for the, the image that's there on the screen. And then you're going to copy. So because I've already selected all, you can see that there's this black and white rim around this picture. I'll take the rim off, the rim of the th picture off, so you can see what I'm saying. So now all of a sudden I did Command A, and there is this white and black ribbon that's like moving around the photo to let you know that the whole photo is highlighted. And now you're going to Command C or copy uh, control C and then you're going to paste it onto this blank screen here if you can't just paste it over you can drag it to the next tab so I'm gonna just drop it here it's too big for the space that's provided so I'm going to transform the size of the image by using the uh, transform here you're gonna go to edit free transform or what you can do is just transform and then and then go to scale and use this little corner box right here to make the image smaller to fit within the the canvas size here that you have so now the image fits I'm gonna push enter to take those bars those like squares that were on the image off so it does not transform anymore and now what we're going to do is we're gonna go into our filters to create this a mosaic look and you can scroll through and see that there's many different type of filters here inside of Photoshop or Photopea and you are going to mosaic so you're going to go down to pixelate once you get into your filter tab go down to pixelate and you're going to scroll over here and go to mosaic and that's when you're going to decide decide what type of mosaic look that you're going to to get Actually, I think this is the wrong filter now that I look at it. Because this is not, this is mosaic, but this is not the, the um, filter that we want. We really want to use the filter so that we create the look of the glass panes, almost like window panes of a church. Um, so let's move towards uh, the filter gallery. In the filter gallery, we're going to be able to see what um, we can do here. Because it's going to show us all of the different filters that are there. So that we can have more of an idea. Okay, filter. And then we're going to go into filter gallery. So now we're going to get the stained glass look. So in the stained glass, let me show you. I'm going to move the screen over so you can see. So now we have the stained glass. That's, that's our goal, not mosaic, stained glass. Here you can change your cell size. So you have really large cells. Or, and then we're going to, the border is the border around the stained glass. It's almost like the glue that holds the glass together. So we don't want a heavy border. We're going to leave the border at 1. You can put your cell size all the way up to about an 11. Don't go any higher than an 11. And then light intensity, we don't want it to be too light. And here's the photo here that we're really looking for. You can still see the 
the main ID of the photo by a cell size of four. So make sure you turn this into me with the stained glass look. That's what your goal is for this assignment. We're going to use the stained glass filter. Here we go to filter. Once you're in the layer, you have to be in the layer, not in your background layer. Make sure you're in layer one where the photo is over here. Layer one, go to filter and go to filter gallery. I'm trying to see if there's another way to get to stained glass. Was stained glass in this options? It doesn't look like it. So you really need to make sure that you um, go over to the gallery, the filter gallery, so you can see that there's um, multiple other types of filters. All right, and so turn this into me after you screenshot it. If you want to save your work so you can go back to it and edit it later, go to File and make sure you save as a, a P, make sure you have the PSD at the back right over in here. So like you can say um, stained glass portrait, but don't change this area here to be a TIFF or a Photoshop PDF or a large document format. Make sure you leave it in PSD so that your layers are still uh, around here at the end when you want to open the, fil the, the open back up the file. That's your main goal. All right. Make sure you turn this in. Thank you.